Hey landlord, my name is Eric Worrell and I work for a tenant screening company called RentPrep and today we are talking about tenant screening in the state of Florida. I want to cover a couple quick tips inside of this video and I also want to let you know that at any time you can click on the link in the description to go to our blog post on Florida uh, tenant screening and inside of that blog we have a ton of free resources for you that you can download. No email required, no opt-in. You can just download those uh, resources for you to help you get started with your screening today. But when you're screening your tenants, there are a few things that you need to be aware of that helps you stay within your legal rights as a landlord. The first subject I want to talk about is rental applications. Many landlords will charge a rental application fee when accepting an application from a prospective tenant. Uh, this may or may not be something that you do right now. I do highly suggest that you do charge a rental application fee. And the reason why is that just by charging that fee, you're actually going to screen out a lot of bad potential tenants. Uh, if somebody has a murky past, maybe they have some evictions or a uh, violent uh, criminal uh, history, uh, if you let them know that the reason you're charging this application fee is that you plan to run a background check, a lot of times those applicants will just move on and try to get to the next rental place and hope that that person doesn't run a background check. So charge a rental application fee. It should be noted that in the state of Florida, unlike some other states, there is no cap to what you can charge for that rental application fee, uh, but it is highly advised to just stay within the range of whatever it's going to cost you to run a background check. Uh, your typical background checks usually run you about 25 to 35 bucks, and if you check out our website and our packages and pricing page, you can kind of get an idea of maybe what type of service uh, you're looking to get and then how much you would charge for that application fee because of that. Another quick tip with your rental application is uh, to institute a no blank space policy. What that means is you do not take back a rental application unless it is 100% filled out. Uh, what we found from running a background check service here for 10 years at Rent Prep is there is a direct correlation between, um, let's just say, less than ideal tenant applicants and people who omit details on the rental application. A lot of times there's a reason that people leave out those details and it's because they know that they have something to hide and they don't want you to see it. So a simple tactic that you can do to just start screening out tenants before you even run a background check is instituting that no blank space policy. Another thing to consider too is that rental application that you're using, you want to make sure that there is a section on there that you are getting signed consent from that tenant applicant to run a background check. If you're concerned about your rental application form, check out our website and we have the free rental app that you can download. No email or opt-in required, you can just download that free resource. Also on our blog post about Florida tenant screening, we have a bunch of other resources for you as well. Uh, when you bring in a new tenant into your apartment, you're going to want to do stuff such as fill out a rental lease. Um, you're also going to want to do a move in, move out checklist. And I highly suggest that you do that with any new tenant applicant. Um, at that point, what you're going to do is you're going to walk through the rental and you're going to just make sure that they sign off, that everything is in good shape so that when you charge a security deposit and if there are any issues when they move out, you have that documentation from them signed saying that this rental was in perfect condition and this is why you're holding some of that money. So again, hopefully you learned a few things from this video and if you check out our links on the screen right now, uh, we have a tenant screening guide video that you can check out using the game Guess Who. And then also I highly suggest going to our blog post on tenant screening on our website and that's where you can get all of your free forms and even more helpful hints on screening tenants in the state of California. Hopefully you find that perfect tenant for your rental. Take care.